G'day, I'm Gary Briggs. I'm the founder of the Dingo Company in Australia. Um, for 20 years now we've been building our dingoes and uh, this is our latest all-rounder model. Now this is the evolution of 20 years of further innovation here in the country town of Dolby, Queensland in Australia. This all-rounder machine is um, an upgrade, of course, you always go forwards, but one of the main things we were looking for when we upgraded to the, the, the new all-rounder was to make it more user-friendly. We already had a great machine, but we had to make it a little bit more user-friendly, and one of the things that we really concentrated on was trying to get the noise levels down. Now, the noise level is down on this machine because we can actually run the engine at a little bit slower revs, and to do that, we've actually put bigger pumps on it because we now have a little bit more power we put bigger pumps and run slowly to end up with the same actual flow. This gives us a better sounding machine, much quieter in the suburbs and much easier on the operator's ear. We also made a change to the operator platform. Uh, in the old days, we actually had rubber inserts in here that wore out and fell out all the time. We found we are far better off with using the, um, the special um, anti-slip floor and a rubber pad that you just throw in there because you're standing there all day and they do wear out and just the same as your boots wear out so it's much easier to have a removable pad which is easily clean, you don't have the dirt in it and it's much more comfortable to stand on all day. Okay, the fuel tank on the all-rounder is another um, change we made. The fuel tank previously was about 20 litres and because you always had a couple of litres left in the tank you can never quite fit a full jerry can of fuel into the darn thing with a little bit left. So we, we determined we had to go above the 20 litres, which is jerry can size. So we, we've actually extended the front of the tank, it's actually about that much bigger, and it's now a 25 litre tank, which makes it a lot better. On 25 litres, a diesel machine will work all day. A petrol machine will probably work around about half day if it's working really, really hard. The petrol machine uses about double the amount of fuel to, to the diesel. And that is why for a contractor we recommend a diesel machine. They are a metre and 50 wide on the standard tyres like that. When we get them down onto very, very narrow tyres, we get the darn things down under 900 mil until they get to a doorway. And that's a very, very important measurement. Okay, while well, we've got the arms up in the air, and we don't have a bucket on, I know, but the dump height that you have out of a 4 one bucket is about 1.75 of a metre, which is adequate to get over any small truck or utility. Uh, it's adequate for post hole digging and all the other jobs that Dingo is expected to do. Okay, one of the other changes over the recent years has been the adoption of the all-wheel drive system. Now, we used to run chain drives, and chain drives, in my opinion, are pretty darn good. However, chains do break, and you do get wear and tear into chain drives and sprockets, so it's more repairs that you have to do. So the all-wheel drive system has cleaned up the system, giving us nice, smooth, good power, and no maintenance. The all-rounder still has our famous two-pump hydraulic system in behind those covers there, and that delivers the oil up to our main control valve and our auxiliary valve. Bingo provides the largest flow in the industry, 45 litres per minute at 3,200 psi. Now that 3,200 psi is more than any of the large skid steers and tractors actually provide. Uh, Dingo has the highest pressures in the industry and that's very, very important when you're actually using um, attachments that really need high power. After building Dingo's for 23 years now, we've certainly changed the engine several times and we have now come up with the best engines in the world. We use the 20 horsepower Yanmar diesel in our diesel version. We use the 23 horsepower Kohler engine for the petrol machines. Um, our criteria is they must be able to fit in this very narrow gap and that's what, what it's all about, getting the right engine for the right job.